Hello, Monica here from Monica Says. I am doing a video series called Get Ready With Me. I get asked lots of questions about how do I get my makeup to stay on so long and still look fresh hours after I've applied it. I get lots of questions on how do I do my eyebrows and how do I do all kinds of things. So I am going to begin the series now and I'm going to break this up into several different videos, so stay tuned, and you are watching the first installment on getting ready with me. Here we go. So my first step is to prime. Um, I really like this 24 karat gold firming foundation primer from Merle Norman. It's lightweight, and I uh, jokingly say that I think it's like a girdle for your face. Um, if you don't know what a girdle is, girdles hold things in and make them look tight and smooth. So, in my opinion, that's how I feel like this makes my skin look and feel. So, I'm going to put my primer on all the way over my face, back to my ears. Just tuck my hair back. And then also down through here because I'm going to blend my powder down through there, so I want to make sure that I have included my neck. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is my foundation. So here are my tools. I use this really tired looking beauty blender. I need to get a new one. Um, and then I'm also going to use a powder brush. And that's about it for my foundation. So since it's summertime, and we're in, I'm in North Carolina. It's really hot and humid here. Um, we're kind of like, I guess, in what you would call the foothills or more um, kind of like towards the middle of the state. So not on the coast and not in the cooler, drier mountains, but um, it's just kind of muggy. It's July and gross. So I am going to use my lasting foundation from Merle Norman. And what I do is I just squeeze some right on sponge here and I normally work on one side of my face at a time now I have my camera sitting in front of my makeup mirror so forgive me I may have to go ahead and I'm gonna put a little bit more on another little dollop here now this foundation is for a combination normal to oily most suited for oily skin types. Those of us that have combination skin can get away with wearing it in the summertime when it's so dry and humid. But you've got to make sure that your skin is well hydrated, either by putting um, a hydrating serum and moisturizer on or a really rich moisturizer or something like that because if your skin is dry or flaky at all, this is not very forgiving. So your skin has to be smooth and hydrated for this product to look nice. So I like to kind of rub it on and then smooth it. And then once you're done with one section of your face uh, with this type of foundation, I think Estee Lauder has a similar type foundation I'm sure many cosmetic companies have a long wear foundation product like this. Once you are done on this side, you can't go back and keep blending or uh, anything. You're just, you put it on and it's done because it kind of sets to like a water resistant, smudge proof state. So you can see that it really evens out. It tones down my redness here in my cheeks, my little capillaries that are starting to show as my skin's getting a little bit thinner as I'm getting older. And then it also helps my pores to look super tiny, which is amazing. I love that about it. So do the same thing over here. I've got a little bit of product um, in my sponge now. So I'm not gonna have to put as much on. Now this, again, this is a beauty blender sponge. You can order these online. You can get them at Sephora or um, Ulta or something like that. Or through Amazon I'm sure I'll try to find some and put a link in the description I'm just gonna get a tiny little bit here to go over my forehead never want to put a ton of foundation on your forehead 
because then it looks caked up in your hairline. And then if you, if you do this a lot, which I don't do that a lot, but for women that make that facial expression of raising uh, the muscles here in the front of the head, if you uh, raise those a lot, then um, it just can settle into those lines. So, but this foundation pretty much, you put it on and it stays on. It's, uh, once it's on, it's there. And you don't really have to worry about things settling too much into lines. It's really, um, it's, now it's like, it's dry. Like, there's a tiny, tiny bit on my fingers, but not much at all for me to have rubbed like that. So, um, now that that's on, I'm gonna use concealer. And I have two different shades of concealer right now. Oops, excuse me, not the camera. I have two different shades. I've got like my Dead of Winter shade, which is a light shade. And, uh, and but it's a little too light for right now. And the other concealer is a medium light neutral. This is also Merle Norman Dual Action. Dual Action Concealer, I think is what that's called. They're right here in my corner. funny the faces we make when we put our makeup on sometimes and I like to get all the way into this corner this right here is what's gonna make you look like you got eight hours of sleep even if you didn't that's what concealer can do for you friends put it right here in this inner corner so a lot of women do all the concealer they do it way down here you don't need it down here necessarily most people don't you need it up in here in this inner corner, you need that brightening right, almost like a V, like an, like an inner V here and a V here. Inner V of the eye, that's where you need it. So now I'm gonna use some Ultra Powder Foundation. This is a powder that has a sponge underneath there. I rarely use a sponge, you can tell it looked brand new. Uh, it goes on a little heavier with the sponge and I don't want it to look heavy. Um, I prefer just a lighter application now I normally don't have jewelry on when I'm doing my makeup um, so I usually kind of come over my earlobe a little bit gotta, gotta wipe my diamond off um, and then down my neck now if I'm wearing a collared shirt which I rarely wear um, especially in the summertime I would not come down as far on my neck um, and then what I want to do is take my finger and take a little bit and just pat it to kind of help set here under my eyes, okay? So now my foundation is complete. Um, I've got a completely even toned look that blends in well with my neck and chest. I got a little rosiness there, but um, that's, that's my foundation routine. Um, and even if you're not using Merle Norman, which is my preferred brand of makeup, my family has had a Merle Norman cosmetic studio franchise for 55 years. So it's mainly the only makeup and uh, skincare that I have used. Uh, and I'm 39 years old and I started using it when I was, gosh, 10 or 11. So, um, so this is my Merle Norman Lasting Foundation. I wear Lasting Foundation in the shade Vanilla. I use concealer in light and medium light neutral and then ultra ivory in my ultra powder foundation. So I'm gonna stop this video here and check out my next video, which is gonna be bronze and blush. See you next time.